Imagine for a moment you are on a boat that has departed from Key West, Florida. The sea flies past as you head towards your isolated destination. Then, all of a sudden, a speck of brown pops up on the horizon of endless blue. The speck grows larger, eventually taking on the hexagonal shape of Fort Jefferson. This is the view that thousands of visitors get each year as they approach Dry Tortugas National Park, an island with both an ecological and man-made history. The Florida Keys are located on the edge of the Florida platform, which began to form around 200 million years ago with limestone and dolomite mixing with the skeletons of dead sea creatures to create a large underwater platform on the eastern side of the present-day Gulf of Mexico. Several million years later, during the Ice Age, portions of the platform rose above the water to become what is now the Florida Peninsula. After the Ice Age ended, the oceans warmed and allowed for the construction of coral reefs, which combined with the existing bedrock formed the Florida Keys, including the Seven Islands and Dry Tortugas National Park. The islands remained isolated from human civilization for several millennia until the 1820s, when the United States started construction on a lighthouse on Garden Key. The lighthouse was completed in 1826, but many problems arose, prompting the assembly of a new lighthouse on Loggerhead Key in 1858, named the Dry Tortugas Light, before eventually being renamed the Loggerhead Light after the island it was located on. Both lighthouses are still standing today, with the loggerhead light becoming automated in the 1980s and garden key light being deactivated in 1924, but remaining part of Fort Jefferson. Fort Jefferson was a military post that served both as a harbor for passing ships, as well as an early warning system to spot potential enemies attempting to enter the Gulf of Mexico. The fort was meant to be used as a part of a system of forts that spanned both the Atlantic and Pacific coasts, however this plan failed to be fully recognized as Fort Jefferson was never fully completed. During and after the Civil War, the fort was used as a prison for Union traitors, even hosting Dr. Samuel Mudd, a physician who treated the wounds of Abraham Lincoln's assassin, John Wilkes Booth. The fort was abandoned by the Army in the 1870s, but remained in service as a coaling station until 1898, when the USS Maine departed on its tragic journey to Cuba. This was seemingly the end of the old fort, nicknamed Guardian of the Gulf. In the 1930s, public support for the preservation of the fort caught the attention of President Franklin Roosevelt, who created Fort Jefferson National Monument in 1935. An expansion of the monument in 1983 led to its eventual upgrade to national park status in 1992. However, shortly after it became a national park, the government suffered a shutdown in 1995, forcing Dry Tortugas, along with the rest of the national parks, to temporarily close. Fearing their economy would greatly decrease, citizens from Key West raised money and even led an expedition to Fort Jefferson to reopen the park. The citizens' efforts, along with the end of the government shutdown the first days of 1996, led to the park's eventual reopening. There are many ways to explore Dry Tortugas, but perhaps the best way is by water. Upon arrival by boat, visitors can travel to the various coral reefs in the park, as well as shipwrecks such as that of the Windjammer, which sunk in 1907 and now lies on the ocean floor in two excellent exploration sites. Many species live in and around the underwater reefs and wrecks, such as the Goliath grouper and nurse sharks. However, one of the most interesting cases involving animals comes in the form of a crocodile named Cletus, who appeared in the National Park in 2003 and remained there 14 years in remote areas of the park before being seen near the visitor areas of Fort Jefferson in 2017. It took employees of both Dry Tortugas and Everglades National Park, who manages the staff at Dry Tortugas, to resolve the problem of the potentially harmful creature. The ending to this story will be revealed in next week's episode on Everglades National Park. Small rocky islands on the Florida platform that are host to a reminder of the early days of America's military, as well as a variety of underwater activities make up Dry Tortugas National